Hi, my name is Sophie Tai, and I'm going to show you how to create and assign activity groups in MX Deposit. I'm going to navigate to the settings panel. If I'm an administrator, you'll note that I'll see the logging, sampling, and your site sections of the settings panel. First of all, navigating to the activities section in the settings. You can see my categories are exploration and grade control with my list of activities shown. I'm going to click on the core logging activity, which will open up my activity. You can see there's the progress bar on the bottom of the screen. So this is the, the process you will have gone through when initially setting up the activity, naming it, uh, and then moving to the logging step. In this step, we can see all of the various tables uh, that are in this core logging activity. So to create the activity group, I navigate to the groups tab. You can see I've got a number of activity groups in here already. To add a new group, I click on the new button. I'm going to call this one geologists. So I'm going to create a geologists group and geotechs group. And I'm going to assign all of the geology tables out to the geologists group and all of the geotech tables out to the geotechs group. You select the activity group from the panel on the right hand side of the screen and drag and drop it to the table that you wish to assign it to. So I'm assigning the geologists activity group to my collar header table. You'll see that appears as a wee tag, a green tag, geologists RW, which stands for read write. And I can then add my next activity group to the collar header table. Geotex, that one's read only. So it's only possible to have one activity group set as read write on a table, uh, but you can have multiple activity groups set to read only. Read only means these users will not be able to edit, only view these tables on the mobile app. To remove a group, we can click on the drop down uh, button and click on remove group, uh, or you can make the group read write, uh, you know, toggle on and off. And now for my RQD and samples table, let's grab the geotechs and add them as the read write permitted activity group to each of these tables. So these are the guys who are going to be measuring the RQD and populating the samples tables. We'll set them to read write so they can download those tables uh, on the mobile app for editing. I want my geologists to still be able to see these tables to see the data going into them or see any data that might be in them. So I'll set them as read only. So yeah, one scenario could be that um, our geotech groups got read write permission on our geotech and RQD tables. Um, but they've got read-only permission on the lithology table. So that means that they can work on the geotech tables, but they can still see the litho um, tables and the litho intervals. They just can't edit it. So we can move through the next steps of our activity and then click on save or OK. So once you have defined your activity groups and assigned the appropriate permissions, you can then control the user access and the project permissions. Uh, down to the group. So this is done on a project basis. You can see we've got the core logging activity in here with our geologists and our geotechs. And then you can see each of the users that are in the geologists group and each of the users that are in the geotechs group. And we can add and remove users here by either right clicking on a user and selecting remove or by selecting from the list of available users on the right hand side of the screen and dragging and dropping them across to the activity group we want them to be part of. So now these groups have been, de have been defined. Uh, it means that when a user goes to assign a drill hole to themselves in the mobile app, they'll be presented with a list of available groups that they can assign. That way one user can assign one group uh, while a different user could assign a different group in MX Deposit. So that's how you create activity groups in MX Deposit and assign users to them. Mm.